right now, what I'm doing is I'm prioritizing because there was an opportunity. Uh, we got an 86 foot boom lift at my other site out in Lake Forest and sites right now uh, we had a site that we had to complete uh, we had some, a job to do out there and 175 unit uh, hotel getting some stuff done and, and we had a little mistake happen yesterday where we ended up cutting some of the window seals and so those window seals now have to be replaced the problem is is the owner next door to the hotel if there's only about six feet of space on a walkway that allows you to maneuver on the back side of the building. And so it's a fucking pain in the ass because the owners next door have a huge parking lot that normally would give you access to the hotel uh, to go up there and fix the window seals. But, because we wanna use a boom lift, we gotta use like a 65 foot boom lift. And these assholes won't let us go next door. So, you know, these are the kind of things that you're gonna deal with when you own your own construction business. Uh, window cleaning, pressure washing, building, framing, painting, uh, whatever the case may be, you're gonna deal with nightmares like this. And so, right now, what I'm doing is I'm prioritizing because there was an opportunity. Uh, we got an 86 foot boom lift at my other site out in Lake Forest, and that's like a $1,500 a day lift. And so, I was told I can use it uh, because it's already out there to, so I can make sure my budget stay down, stays down so I don't have to spend 1500 bucks for an hour worth of work. So I'm rushing out there to, to, to go handle this other problem that I need to take care of on some of these windows. I gotta pull off some of the window tent. There, there's a protective tint that goes on the hotel and that protective tint needs to be pulled down. Uh, I would say next time probably during scaffolds, not at the end because it's just a pain in the ass, right? So now I'm running over there. So you got to prioritize. So what do you do when you actually have to handle multiple things at once and they're all important, they're all a priority, they're all uh, they're all basically something that you need to take care of. We were actually contracted on a change order to take care of a lot of this material that was on the windows. There was like concrete, paint, um, uh, window ceiling, just nasty stuff all over the windows where we had to actually hand scrape the windows. Otherwise I would have just, you know, made sure the windows were looking good from the ground with our water fed poles, but those windows were just fucked up. It was a post construction. And so we got a change order for it to save the day, to make more money, to do it. And then we ended up causing more problems with the window seals because we ended up cutting them with our razors stupid stupid mistake don't do that if you are a high rise window cleaner and you do shit from the ground with water pit bowls so that's the pros and cons of working from the ground is the pros you can get the job done fast you can do it with limited resources you buy your equipment one time you're able to just do whatever you do whatever you got to do but if you don't be careful of those damn window seals and they're and they're silicone not vinyl okay you're gonna run into some problems. So stay like an inch away from the corner of the damn windows if you are a window cleaner. So if you're listening to this channel, it's because you're a service contractor. Uh, we should all understand that all service contractors are similar. We're all the same. All of us as contractors, as individuals, I'm a licensed contractor for construction cleanup. No, I'm not a framer or a painter, but I've been in the industry for a long time. I deal with some very large commercial contracts. I teach people in the painting industry. I teach people in the landscaping industry, framing industry, whatever you may, may call it. I help them get into large commercial jobs. 
and uh, some of the problems that I'm talking about right now is geared towards people in the window cleaning trade but uh, this channel is all about getting into these large commercial contracts so don't let it steer you away if you're not a window cleaner or a or a construction cleanup guy like myself everything is similar I, I have friends in the space I talk to multi-million dollar painters um, the only difference is our trade work okay so it doesn't really matter because trade work the, the thing that I've noticed the most about contractors is we're so damn concerned with the trade work and the tools and the know-how and the how because that's an important side of the business don't get me wrong guys I get it like you got to understand how to do your trading and perfect your craft but what I like teaching about is how do you get more business like how do you get some of these large commercial projects how do you how do you obtain them what's the mindset you have to have what kind of confidence level do you have to have what is a practical blueprint of step one step two who do you contact when you do contact them what do you say okay these are the things that are important if you are still focusing only on trade work you're focusing only on perfecting your craft your business is gonna die anyway because you can't you can't do business without customers you can't do business without large commercial contracts without other businesses paying you money you, what, what's the point of being great at your craft if you don't know how to get the project there's no there's no reason to be good at your craft man come on guys stop being old school stop thinking about oh man i gotta perfect my art i need that new piece of equipment man i need to give me some uh i need to give me a new trailer rig bro i need a water buffalo i need a water buffalo bro <laughs> i need a water buffalo can you can you get some water out here yeah, yeah we're gonna need a water buffalo no man you don't need a damn water buffalo man you just need a hose all right stop worrying about the damn water buffalo and start worrying about your money start worrying about getting some projects start worrying about building your team these things matter now look man you spent a lot of time perfecting your craft you spent a lot of time getting good at your job and you might say well John if you were perfecting your craft you would have never cut those window seals you're probably right man but you know what I feel like I'm pretty damn good at my craft the problem was it was fucking windy that day and I was going up seven stories high scraping windows from the ground okay you try that this shit's fucking hard so we fixed the problem we ended up getting a lift out there and we, we shortened the distance shortened the gap uh, so we could just scrape like 30 feet anyways how do you handle prioritization man when you got shit going on okay you got a few things going on well first and foremost look at what you can handle right there in that moment what's going to if all three things are important to handle for instance I got to go out here uh, to get, get take care of this window tent there's an 86 foot boom lift out there that I can use uh, it's ready to go I can go out there and do it so I'm gonna put my energy into that because it's ready to go I can go out there and just handle it I also needed to get this job done where I'm at right now so what do I do I delegate it I let my, my main guy big hose take care of the problem so he takes care of the problem he keeps the, the production going without me there because I can trust him to handle it and I move on okay I move on to the next task now the other task was fix the silicone on the fucking windows and that was a new problem I created well with that it is a priority but there's nothing I can do about it today you know right now I can't go in the next door neighbor's fucking parking lot without him calling the cops and I can't drop down from the roof because my equipment's out of date I gotta buy some new descenders and uh, I gotta do it after hours so I'm gonna schedule that for another day I'm pushing that to the other side it's a problem I created it's a new problem it is something I gotta fix and what I'll probably do today is I'll probably handle everything that I can handle with the ladder so I'll go up like second third story and take care of it with the ladder so that's number one what you got to do man is you got to take care of what you can handle and then make a decision and go handle it okay now the problem is what's equally as important what's equally important is yes you got to hold on to the projects you got you got to hold on to what you're already doing and make your clients happy um, but there's always that third or fourth there's always that fourth thing that's dangling around your head man that's saying go get some customers follow up with some prospects go make some bids okay that's always a priority and so if we're spending 
60% of our time, and, and I'll tell you, no, no, 80% of our time. And I'm guilty of this. I'm guilty as charged, especially as lately. I've got, I got so much work going on, so much. We got uh, three commercial projects that are going nonstop every day with teams at them all day, every day, six days a week. Um, it gets kind of hard to prioritize to go out there and get some deals. So what do I do? Especially since I'm still in the field helping out sometimes, I'm not always in the field. As a matter of fact, a few months ago, I was completely out of the field. Then COVID happened and uh, I had to jump back out there to, to fix some things and keep things in order. Um, and so how do you handle it all, man? How do you keep doing the deals? How do you keep sending out the emails? The people aren't going to hit you up, man. They're not going to call you guys. I just want you to understand that they're not going to just call you. Now, you might have some prospects that you do business with, that you have some relationships with, that call you and say, hey, John, I want to give you a $40,000 deal, okay? But that's few and far between. What are you going to do right now? Right now, what you can do is if you're stuck in the field and you're trying to take care of business, is in between things that you're doing. I call them these little moments of time, right? little moments of time that you run into I just missed my exit these little moments of time that you run into these 10 minute moments of time when you're driving between sites and you know you got to go stop in on that one site because it's gonna pay you some cash what do you do you stop by you stop by the site you take five minutes to stop by the site and tell that person hey miss or mister hey I was in the area I wanted to stop by and just kind of see how things were going Get a, get a get an answer or make a phone call on your way to lunch make a phone call in between sites make a phone call man okay that's what you got to do guys you got to fit it all in you got to fit it all in man you became an owner you became an owner so you can be the boss and the boss is the one that pays the cost okay you don't get downtime when your guys are chilling and they're eating and they're relaxing that's the time that you got to make some calls unfortunately guys look in the future I'm not saying it's like this forever I'm saying your life will get easier I'm saying things will get better you will have more time it will be more structured but in the beginning when you, not just the beginning you know, your first, I know people that have been in business for five years and they still haven't figured this out they're still relying on word of mouth they're still relying on their main core customer base okay and that's not what you want to do. You need to get new customers, okay? There's only three ways to get customers. One, you up your price. There's only three ways to make money, I should say. One, you up your price. Two, you get a new customer. Three, you get a referral. These are the only ways you can make some money in your business, okay? What do I like focusing on? I like focusing on more business from the same customer. So kind of like a referral, it's basically like a referral because I'm getting it from the same client. Uh, and then I like focusing on new customers. Those are my two, those are my go-to. I don't like raising my prices. I don't like dealing with all that bullshit. I like, I like focusing on those two. So if you focus on new customers, this is the one thing that most people don't do, okay? Everybody asks, how, how, do you, how do you get so many projects? How do you stay busy year around? How do you make sure your employees are working 24 7 365 well man it's because I put more output I put more output into getting new customers okay my old customers I appreciate and they can only feed me so much they can only feed me so much so what do I got to do I got to go out and get some new customers okay I got to go out and get me some new customers all right so I hope uh, this message helped you man because I'm telling you guys, you got to go out there and get some new customers, put the emphasis on going out there, making calls, banging on doors, sending emails, sending messages. You know, there's somebody you got to call right now. You just haven't done it. Okay. And so every time that I get the feeling that I need to make a phone call that I'm like, oh man, I should probably call that guy. You know what I do? I call that guy. All right. So I'm about to pull up at the spot. Uh, we got an 86 foot boom lift over here. I'm gonna tear off some tint, use it to my advantage, get her done, and uh, yeah. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you. If it did, leave some comments. Maybe subscribe if you're a uh, service contractor. This channel is all about uh, getting new customers for your service business, 
and also entrepreneurship as a whole. Uh, we show you how to get large commercial contracts. We show you how to get residential projects, mainly large commercial contracts, but for all you residential people, we show you how to get customers with social media. We show you how to get it online without having to uh, pay for advertisement, which is great. So anyways, Keep watching my channel if you wanna get into large commercial contracts. Keep watching my channel if you wanna use social media uh, to get customers in the residential community or customer community. That's what it's all about and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. I'm gonna show you how to be a badass business owner, badass entrepreneur, and I am gonna continue to put out stuff until it really sticks in your guys' head, okay? So keep showing up. It won't work if you work it. Okay, you need to keep going, keep showing up. Action equals results. Action plus consistency equals results. Okay, guys, peace out.